Hey guys, welcome back. This is your host, PhilPhoneKitchen.com, and what I got here is LG G8 ThinQ, the latest flagship from LG, and it's got some interesting features. Let's go ahead and open it. This is the packaging, just the same as the previous LG devices like the B40 ThinQ or the G7 ThinQ, and just like them, they included the cleaning cloth. And here is the phone. It comes in three different colors, New Aura Black, New Aura Blue, and Carmen Red. Of course, depending on the region, you might not be able to get all three of the colors, but some of them will be available. Anyway, under that is a little packet containing the quick start guide, LG Pay, and the data transfer guide, along with the SIM card tray removal pin. And there is a fast charge enabled charger that's 9 volts 1.8 8 amps or 5 volts 1.8 amps the USB-C cable and the USB type A to type C adapter and a pair of headphones nothing new here along with the good old headphone jack and two pairs of extra ear tips and the phone itself it looks very similar to the predecessors but they included three cameras this is the Korean version of the G8 in most of the regions you might be able to get the triple camera equipped G8s Thank you, or the dual camera equipped G8. So you can count this triple camera equipped Korean variant as a little bit of oddity, but most of the internal specs are the same. And that includes the 6.1 inches of QHD plus OLED panel. And on that notch is an eight megapixels of camera along with the Z camera. The Z camera is 3D TOF sensor combined with the infrared emitter. So you can do little tricks like hand gesture and better face recognition unlock. On the right hand side, we got the power key and the SIM card tray that also can host a micro SD card for expansion. And on the left hand side, we got the volume rocker and I don't know what that is yet. And the Google Assistant hotkey. On top is noise canceling secondary microphone and on the bottom is USB-C port, fast charging supported, microphone, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a rarity in this age, and a speaker. Talking about the speaker, it works with the screen built-in speaker to give you stereo sound effect and with that boombox feature that you put your phone on a uh, material and it's gonna resonate along with them. Thanks to that, they got rid of the receiver hole on top right there, so it's completely flush with a glass. Another flush part is the back. There's no camera bump. You can see that it's completely flat. And there are triple cameras. That's f1.5 of normal angle, f1.9 wide angle, and f2.4 of telephoto lens. There's an LED flash, fingerprint sensor under that, G8 ThinQ logo, and the back panel is protected by Gorilla Glass 6, and this is fast wireless charging capable. And there is finally an LG logo. And of course, the front facade is protected by Gorilla Glass version 5. So let's go ahead with the settings. And before you get onto that, there is a personalizing part that allows you to choose the new second screen option, whether you're gonna hide that or not. Uh, the notch hiding feature only works with the LG apps. This has been a little bit of my complaint since the G7. They still didn't fix that and it doesn't work in the third party apps, but it's still there. And you can choose between the classic home buttons or the Android Pie pill gesture control. So we're gonna choose the new one over here. And the last option is home screen with the apps on the background like the iOS or the app drawer button like the classic Android. So we're gonna skip that part. And the phone security option. There is a face unlock, fingerprint unlock, knock code, pattern, pin, or password, or no thanks. Um, you can register your hand ID on the phone setting screen. So we're gonna get there for that. So just a bunch of LG apps that you can download. We're gonna skip that for now. And we're done with the setup. Now, this is what the launcher looks like. There is a little app drawer button. You can swipe uh, to search for more apps. There's a Google Apps, Essentials, uh, Management. Uh, interesting app here is the FM radio. So you can plug in your headphones and listen to radio for free. Uh, management, Update Center, File Manager, nothing special here. It's pretty clean. And the interface isn't all that different from the previous LG devices. Um, the icons and the colors are not exactly to my liking. Maybe some themes are gonna help that. Samsung recently revamped their interface with the One UI and LG seems to be sticking to the older one for a little longer. Now on the display panel, there's an option to change your screen resolution uh, from HD to full HD to QHD. So we're gonna apply the highest one because that's what this HDR10 display is capable of. And the new option here is True View. Just like the iPhone or the iPad's True Tone display, this can also read the surrounding color temperature and match the screen's color temperature to it. If you wanna adjust it manually, there's a screen color mode, cinema, sports, game, photos, web, or 
Expert that allows you to choose your own saturation, hue, and sharpness, and of course the white balance and individual colors of R, G, and B level. There's of course the HR video effect, auto brightness, and those typical options. Going to the sound option, this is the strength of the LG devices. There's a sound quality DTSX 3D surround and the Hi-Fi Quad DAC. If you're one of the people who prefer the wired headphones, you can utilize the Hi-Fi Quad DAC, that's a 32-bit DAC, to make your music sound better. And there are loads of options provided here. Now, one of the new features is called the air motion. So let me give you a little demo. You put your hand before the sensor and there's a little bar telling you that it's ready for the gesture control. You pull that and there's an interface. You can see my hand with the 3D sensor and you can swipe to whether left or right to quickly launch the predefined app, YouTube in this case. If you're playing movie or listening to music, like playing media, you can use the volume knob to change the volume or pause it. For now, I can't really find many use cases, maybe when you're doing your dishes, but anyway, the feature is there. And another quirky feature through the Z camera is the hand ID. So as the name tells, it reads your hand to unlock the phone. So let's set that up. I have to position my hand 15 to 20 centimeter away. My palm should be facing the front camera. All right, so I put my hand in there Get it closer to it and it's resistored. And once more. And it's done. So let's see that in action. I put my hand and the phone is unlocked. It takes about a second when done right. Of course, it's got advanced face recognition and fingerprint reader on the back as well, so you can always use them instead if you want faster uh, unlocking process. Now, another part that LG was proud of was the camera. So it's got triple camera. This is normal. This is telephoto, zoom, and this is wide. And you can press it, hold on it to see all three angles at once. And there's even a mode to take three angle photos at once. You just give it some time and it does its job. And just as always, there's the AI cam, the portrait mode, and most importantly, it does video portrait mode. So there is a video depth control. Unlike the other phones that the bokeh mode only works with the photos, this does that with the video in real time. So let's say that we have an object, not the prettiest object, but um, it should work. And you can see that the bokeh effect has been applied. It tracks it in real time as I move. And of course, there are basic features like the rather colorful, always on display, customizable, of course, and Snapdragon 855 octa-core processor, the latest one, six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, expandable, Android Pie, and 3,500 millions of battery that's bigger than the predecessor. Keeping the LG tradition, this is MilSpec certified along with the IP68 water and dust resistance. So that was the unboxing and quick look on the LG GA ThinQ. It's got a rather slim bezels here and there, although they could have done a little better with the notch. It's got a very flush design. And of course, this color is my favorite part. Anyway, we'll spend some more time with it and get back with the review very soon. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them down on the comment section below. You can always meet us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.